excited about our trip? Yeah, I am too. We've got a long drive ahead of us, so you really want to rest. Maybe get some sleep if you can. If you can sleep a couple hours, then we'll almost be there. When you wake up, you won't have as much waiting to do. So, do you want me to read to you a little bit about where we're going? We can talk a little bit about the things you want to do while you're there. Yeah, some of it's kind of boring, so it might help you fall asleep. Does that sound good? What do you want to do the most while you're there? I think the weather's supposed to be nice. We're driving farther south, so it's just starting to be spring here, and it's really going to be spring down there. Hmm? Okay, you want me to read you a little bit of this? going to Charleston, South Carolina, and Charleston is the oldest and second largest city in the southeastern U.S. state of South Carolina. It was founded in 1670 as Charles Town in honor of the king, Charles II of England. Charleston adopted its present name in 1783, and it moved to its present location on Oyster Point in 1680 from a location on the west bank of the Ashley River known as Ambomar Point. I think that's how you pronounce it. By 1690, Charlestown was the fifth largest city in North America and it remained among the ten largest cities in the United States through the 1840 census. Do you want to hear more about that? It's big. That's basically all you have to know. Uh, known for its rich history and well-preserved architecture, restaurant, community, and mannerly people, Charleston has received a large number of accolades. They include America's Most Friendly City by Travel and Leisure in 2011, and subsequently, Southern Living Magazine named Charleston the most polite and hospitable city in America. Mm -hmm. So you need to be very polite to people when you're there, because they will be polite to you. Want to read a little bit about the history? After Charles II of England was restored to the English throne, this is in 1630 to 1685, following Oliver Cromwell's protectorate, he granted the chartered province of Carolina to eight of his loyal friends, known as the Lord Proprietors, on March 24, 1663. It took seven years before the group could arrange for settlement expeditions. The first of these founded Charles Town in 1670. The community was established under the leadership of William Sale on the west bank of the Ashley River, a few miles northwest of the present-day city center. It was soon designated by Anthony Ashley Cooper, one of the Lord Proprietors, to become a great port town, a destiny the city came quickly to fulfill. By 1680, the settlement had grown, having been enlarged by additional immigrants from England, Barbados, and the province of Virginia. You fell asleep there for a minute. you have a nice little rest? Good. I was hoping that history might be boring enough for you to fall asleep. <laughs> so are you ready to talk a little bit more about what, where we're going? Good. Let's talk about some of the things that we can do there. You want to? 
Well, we could go to the Magnolia Plantation and its gardens. It's open 365 days a year. It's a 17th century estate acquired in 1676 by the Drayton family, and it features America's oldest gardens. Oh, I would like to see that. I love gardens, which bloom year-round. Pre-Revolutionary War Plantation House, Biblical Garden, Antebellum Cabin, Nature Train Boat. Ooh. We could take a house tour, train tour, boat tour, or you don't have to, and Mom could take a house tour. Because I love old houses. And we're definitely going to Fort Sumter, because we already have a tour. And Fort Sumter is where the Civil War began. We can cruise to the island for while we enjoy in breathtaking views of Charleston and her harbor. Yeah, that'll be fun because we can see the fort and look all around and we have the tour scheduled, but we also get a boat ride. Yeah, I think you'll really like that. There's lots of other historic houses and plantations, but I'm not sure you'll like that. There's the North Charleston and American La France Fire Museum an educational center. The Fire Museum is home to the largest collection of fully restored American La France of fire trucks and antique fire equipment in the country. It is a wonderful museum for the firefighter and all of us. I bet you would like that. I bet you would. We can go to the Patriot Point Naval and Maritime Museum. It's on Charleston Harbor, and you can explore three remarkable vessels. The Medal of Honor Museum. There are 28 historic art aircraft, and you can walk the Vietnam era naval support base. That could be interesting. I think you might like that. And we're definitely going to go to the aquarium because I love aquariums and I know you do too. So we're going to go to the South Carolina Aquarium. And there's turtles, stingrays, sharks, otters, jellyfish, alligators, and more. There's daily dive shows and interactive programs. Um, and there's a new Madagascar Journey exhibit which has lemurs, and I love lemurs, because I studied lemurs in school when I was doing anthropology, and I know that lemurs cannot um, move their eyes, I believe. They can't, um, they have to turn their whole heads, if I'm right. I'm sure I will find out if I'm right or not, but... Um, but I really like lemurs, and I know you like them from that Madagascar movie. Yeah, they're the funny little ones. And more plantations and more fancy houses. Yeah, you know, Mom may need to go do some house tours on her own. Because I would like to go to every single historic house in Charleston. And I know nobody else would. So, we can go to the Charleston Museum. It's America's first museum, and it showcases a variety of fascinating artifacts that tell the story of low country cultural and natural history. Whether you have an interest in early southern furniture, historic textiles, or the Civil War, the Charleston Museum has something for everyone in your family. Well, that's good, because I would like to go to all of those, and I really want to go to the Gibbs Museum of Art. Experience Charleston's history through art. Come face to face with stories of the South Carolina Low Country, as seen through painting, miniature, portraiture, sculpture, photographs, and more. Yeah, and we can do a 
tour with your cell phone. Doesn't that sound interesting? No, it doesn't sound interesting to you at all. It sounds really interesting to me. We will definitely find things that you want to do. Won't just be things that I want to do. Are you getting sleepy? Mm-hmm. Well, you can close your eyes if you want. You want me to tell you a little bit more to help you sleep? Close your eyes. And I can just keep talking about the different things around.